Hi, I'm Milia Curry here with Air Viper Running and Cody Lind, and we're about two days away from the 55k for the Flagstaff Sky Race. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> little rain coming down. Yeah. Nice fall day. A little freshing. It is. How are you sure. feeling? Feeling well. Things are training's gone well and running around the country all year in this series and yeah. enjoying that. And here we are to cap it off in Flagstaff. And yeah, I you're really uh, like the course from last year. Here we are once again. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything that you did training-wise uh, since you know the course? Uh, simulating it a little bit. My big long run, a couple weeks out, I'm able to, now that I know the course, I was able to do something very similar and know that I got to be ready for that last climb up to the top and then bomb downhill towards the finish. So just gearing up for the course itself. And, uh, I mean, you've done a number of the races and you're currently third uh, in the Ultra Series, so congratulations yeah, on that. Yeah, thank you. It's a good feeling, good feeling to be here and be part of it and be in the mix for mm -hmm. the national title. It's a fun thing to be a part of and really great guys here that are racing. And that's part of the reason I love coming is just getting together. It's kind of a reunion of everyone and you get to see everyone and run with them all day. So, looking forward to it. So is it partial community, partial like the Sky Race courses that attract you to these? Absolutely. The community, the people, the racers, competitors, that's a big part of it. And then the courses. I love climbing, going uphill, steep, technical, rocky. You get to cover it all in the sky type of races. Yeah. And this one's no exception. <laughs> Do you have a favorite part of the course? On this course, kind of the middle section. Uh, you have some climbs early on and then you get to cruise for a while. I think it's around mile 20-ish, 20, 20 to 26. I can't remember the exact numbers, but some really cool trails and they're rocky, but you get to cruise. And I remember that part last year and the fall colors really yeah. brought that to me as well. It's kind of fun because everything's like just like half changed right now. Exactly. You're right in that transition phase. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then... You said you just drove here like, uh, you said 15 hours? Yeah, it was. it's probably only about a 12 hour drive, but it took okay. that long because take a motor home and get to do the big road trip and that's part of the adventure itself is yeah. getting here and having the uh, experience and seeing new areas and going one way the way there and a different way on the way back. So yeah, just literally five minutes ago pulled into town. Here we are in Blackstone. particular that uh, you do like for like sitting in car for that long or like working with, you know it's not necessarily jet lag but like, no I hear time you changes and... absolutely I you know every 90 minutes to two hours it's stop somewhere <laughs> and stretch the legs whether it's walk around and just move around for a while and that's something I'm very particular about getting out and stretching the legs and uh, leading up to these races, I like to taper the week before and it helps riding in a car because it <laughs> forces you, you can't go out and run as yeah. much as you want to, so uh, that's part of it, but you know, overall I do a pretty good job at stretching out and just foam rolling and doing some exercises so you, you don't get tightened up and you don't sleep the whole way either because I think sometimes that can mess you up if you are in the car and just sleep for 12 hours straight as well. <laughs> But then you get here and you can't fall asleep tonight. <laughs> yeah, you got it, exactly. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and then, have you been, you've been to Flagstaff last year? Yep, last year was my first time ever to Flagstaff. Okay. And love the town itself as well. Do you have a favorite place you like to go and eat? I have been to the brewery, mm -hmm. and I'm up for any other suggestions as well. Um, <laughs> I was there once, and that's, I think, all the rest was in the motorhome meeting and cooking for myself. but. Nice. Is there, explore some more. Yeah. Is there something that uh, you prefer to eat when you cook yourself? Uh, just nothing different. So kind of whatever's on sounds good. Mm -hmm. And it's nothing that I do specifically before each race. It's whatever I'm going to do in my training, whatever I do before my long runs. It's just kind of the usual routine. I don't change up anything particular. Um, I like pizza. <laughs> I like it all. So it's good. Cool. Well, uh, best of luck and have fun out there. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be here.